Good evening, everyone. Um, so here is the video that I promised would follow after my previous video where I compare the Sasha DAW against the Focal Scala Evo speakers. And um, it's got actually very interesting feedback. I was looking at some of the comments that were left on my on the thread on Audio Gone, as well as the comments on the YouTube channel below on you know my my channel. I have been getting um, both camps to be very vocal about their preferences, what they really like. One loves the Wilson's mid range more rich they say it's more real or to them it sounds more real than the focal that's the main thing that i've read the reason why most would prefer the wilson now the other is the focal where some of you feel like the focal has a lot more air and it sounds more lively it makes you feel like you're in the actual arena where the performance is taking place and that's actually very interesting because those two comments are things that I also echo. I also feel like both comments are, you know, real. That's really what I sense here in my room. But neither speaker is perfect. Both of them do have flaws. I feel like um, there are compromises to be aware of. Um, but just to give a, you know, an overall opinion, I would say... Number one, the Sasha DAW is one incredible speaker. It, it, it definitely checks a lot of boxes for me and for a lot of you, I am sure. It is definitely a speaker that, for its size, it does so much right. I'm very impressed, with, like I said, with the bass. Um, I'm impressed with the mids, the highs are there. Everything is there. Um, is a speaker that you can place in an apartment, like I said, in a small room, you know, you don't really need a large size room. You don't need a, you don't need to worry about that speaker. In my opinion, that speaker works in most locations, which I believe that's the reason, one of the reasons from my understanding why Wilson Audio sells so many Sasha's. I believe this is like the, 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 the highest selling, the highest seller for them. The biggest seller for Wilson, I believe it is the Sasha. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but that's what I've heard. Um, Having known the Alexia, as you know, the Alexia One, you know, it's a larger speaker, but I think the Alexia One also scales larger. I think it's a larger presentation, but it does need more space around it. It does seem to, to like room on both sides. But anyway, this is not about the Alexia One. Um, this is about the Sasha. Sasha has a tremendous amount of resolution, a lot of detail. Um, it can definitely, it feels like it's very transparent too. It feels like when I change a power cord, I immediately pick it up through the Sasha. If, especially like when I use a power cord that has more bottom end, I feel like I can pick it up a little easier on the Sasha, the, the improvement on the bottom end than I can on the Focals. And I think it could be because of that rear port. So it allows me to quickly feel the, the extra pressure of the added bass from changing a power cord or an interconnect or, you know, or speaker cable. Um, the Focal has an, an incredible ability. In my opinion, it just has a lot of air around it. There's a lot happening. Uh, the Focal gives you the feeling, the Scala gives you this feeling that the walls are not there. Feel like the speaker just changes um, the room in front of you. It doesn't make you feel like the room is whatever size it may be. It makes you feel like the room is larger than what it is. Um, it, you know, it feels like you go from a regular television and now you're watching it on a big, you know, projector screen. That's the best way to, you know, describe what Focal does with their evil. Now, I know that there are a lot of you who think um, Focal tends to be on the bright side. Focal tends to be a little more in your face. Um, that's not really the reality anymore, guys, with the Evolution series. That's gone. A feeling that you had in the past where you felt that the Beryllium tweeter was a little too edgy. That's not the case anymore. I can tell you that I get edginess even through the Wilsons, which a lot of you might be like, what do you mean? You know, I've never heard a Wilson sound bright. Well, they do sound bright. I am going to tell you right now, Wilson, in my opinion, at least my Sasha DAWs, I can't speak about the rest, but I can speak about the Sasha DAWs. They, in my opinion, I just don't feel they like a lot of silver cables. I feel like 
the rest of your setup, if it, there's too much silver going on, it just, the speaker gets a little bright. When the voices get loud, it almost shouts a little too much. That's something that I can tell you. I always had a problem trying to dial in with the speaker. Now, again, this is a very, very, it, it, we're talking loud levels, 90 decibels around there. I'm not talking 75 or 80 or anything like that. I'm talking 90 decibels. The speaker begins to get a little uh, bright, which never really happened with the Focal to, to that extent. I was very shocked because I expected the Beryllium Tweeter to really get a little more edging than the soft dome, and that was never the case. So remember, Sasha DAW, I don't recommend, I do not recommend any silver cables for it. I think you should do high quality copper. Um, and I think with copper, I think the results will be better on the DAW. Focal, I think you could do either or, but I almost feel like Focal forgives you a little more with your cabling. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is if you, let's say, have a, just randomly, let's say you don't have an ultra expensive speaker cable, right? Let's say you don't have a $10,000 speaker cable, hypothetically, all right? And I'm not saying you have to do this. I feel like the Focal allows you to, even it forgives you choosing a cable that's not so expensive. I feel like it still has a lot of resolution. I don't feel like the speaker just gets warmish or rolled off or you know it sounds dark or just more relaxed with a poor quality cable i feel like yeah it does go backwards but believe it or not it isn't you know you, it's not like you don't notice it but it feels like it just allows you to play with a little cheaper cabling than the the wilson's did for me the wilson's here feel like they just need better cabling that than most other than other speakers um, that I've that I've had in the past. So if you're looking for a lot of detail and resolution and just air, go with Focal. If you want more of a music, not a musical, but a more muscular presentation, if you will, I think the Sasha will do that for you. But do keep in mind, okay? I always said it: the rear wall, the wall behind the speakers, matters with Wilson. Okay, it matters more than the Scala. Okay, so when you're buying a Wilson and you hear it at a dealer, take a look at the room, take a look at where they're positioned, take a look at how far away they're from the wall or how close they are to, uh, to, uh, to the wall behind them, because that is going to make a huge difference in your setup. Huge focal, not so much because of the fact that that down firing port doesn't really quite interact as much with the room as the Wilson does. Um, what other things I can say is easier to live with. What speaker would be easier to live with? In my opinion, probably would be the Focal. I would say the Focal is probably an easier speaker to live with because it, it, it wasn't too hard to place it correctly. I don't feel like it was difficult to get it to sound big. In addition to that, and this is going to come to a shock for most of you, the Sasha DAW, in my opinion, is not the speaker that competes with the Scala Evil. Okay, the Scala Evil really is a speaker that competes with the Alexia. And why do I say that? Because I've had Alexias here. So I remember the Alexia's soundstage being enormous. The bottom end, everything about that speaker was large. And that's how this evolution series from Focal is the same. The Scala is the same way. Okay, so Sasha, remember, it isn't a speaker to compare against the, the Scala. My opinion, I want to make that clear in my room. Okay, and lastly, the big drum roll comes. What speaker do I prefer? Guys, I got to tell you, it's been uh, an incredible experience with both speakers in here in my room. It's been it's been what, how, three, four weeks, a month or so um, that I've been playing with them, and I'm going to go back to the same thing, guys. I have to say, and i got to be honest with you all, neither speaker is wrong. Both are excellent at what they do. But if I am going to choose one in my situation with my current environment, in my room, Focal beats my DAW here. Okay?
You heard it from me. In my room, Focal Scala Utopia Evil defeats the Sasha DAW. It's just what it is. Now, I, I'm not going to say this is your situation in your room. In my room, Focal does a lot more for me. A lot more. A hell of a lot more. So, there you have it. I know you guys wanted to hear my opinion. Don't get your heart broken if I did not select the Sasha DAW. It's a great speaker. I could have gone either way. I gave it a lot of thought. There was a lot of comparisons going on left to right, right to left. Uh, every night, every day, I was comparing them, playing different types of music. And I always found the Focal just easier to place, easier to make it sound good, easier to just get involved with it. Um, and it just surrounds you with much information. Large, large bubble effect. Um, you feel like you're inside the music with the Focal, which is how the Alexia makes you feel. Not the Sasha DAW. I think the Sasha is a little more intimate. I think my room is 22 deep by 16 wide with eight, eight feet, eight and a half feet or nine feet tall ceilings. That's what my room is. And in my room, I find the DAW to be too small for my room. So again, it, 16 by 22, that's my room. Do your measurements in your house if you're thinking about the DAW. If your room is about that size... Okay, and you and you're really contemplating a speaker. I would definitely hit the brakes on the DAW because I feel like unless you're gonna be really close to the speaker, I am not. I am about to be fair, ten feet away from them. And in my room, I felt like they always liked lacked height. The presentation wasn't tall enough. I kept struggling trying to get them. And if you remember, I had some two by fours in the past trying to get the presentation higher. I feel like the room needs, to, like the speaker needs a little more height with their, with the information. But if I was closer to it, maybe that wouldn't be the same. Maybe I actually would enjoy it a lot more. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, Focal Scala, Evil, big win, in my opinion. One hell of a speaker, um, you know, and same thing with the Sasha DAW. But here, Focal Scala Evo has won me over. Okay, stay tuned, guys. Um, I am going to continue doing another video. I don't know which video I'm going to do next. As you know, things are slowing down around for everyone. There's less shipments, things arriving that I, you know, thought I was going to get, but I'm not going to get anymore. Um, I'm actually going to be doing hopefully soon a different speaker cable. I have already gotten rid of the Nordos Odin one. Those are gone to a better home. But when you heard it on the video, when you heard the shootout on the past video, that was Nordos Odin, just so you know. Okay, so you did hear full Nordos. After that video was shot, I sold my Odin one speaker cables. I hang, I, I was, I'm hanging on to the rest of the cabling that are Odin. I'm thinking about a different type of speaker cable soon. Um, and I'm doing my homework. I'm taking my time with it. In the meantime, I'm using some other more affordable speaker cables just to play with for the time being. Um, but uh, stay tuned. There will be more to come, okay? Subscribe. Thanks, guys.